Hey, hey, Mark Rodriguez here. This is a quick video with my predictions on the first episode of All Elite Wrestling on TNT. Wednesday night, Dynamite. Now, I may not be able to watch all the episodes due to work and everything, but there is no way in hell I'm missing the first episode. Like, holy shit, the premiere of AEW on TNT. It's so awesome. I'm glad you got a regular channel I can watch and everything. I am not missing that. That's a part of wrestling history, damn it. So, um, yes, I will be reviewing that after the episode is over tomorrow night. Um, this is a quick video. I mean, it's a two-hour show. It's not going to have, like, you know, 10, 20 matches. So, it won't really be an Aftershock review episode. It's, like, just a bonus video here. But my review of the actual show will be an episode of Aftershock Reviews. I do want to say that AEW also got a deal now with Hot Topic starting next week. There'll be merchandise at Hot Topic. Of course, you can buy the cool AEW shirts and stuff at ProWrestlingTees.com like I do. Or you can also, like if you live in Chicago, you can go to the actual physical store and buy your stuff there. Or if you go to the events, like the actual live events, you can also buy your stuff there. But if you want like the convenience of just going to your local Hot Topic, just go to the store and buy it, you can do it that way as well. Either way, you're still supporting Pro Wrestling Tees and AEW, so that's fucking awesome. Any way you go about it, it's getting support. That's awesome. And, hey, your shirts are fucking awesome. So, um, start this off. So, first we have Cody versus Sammy Guevara for a singles match. I'm going to give it to Cody. There is no way that Cody's going to be losing on the first episode of AEW on TNT. Like, come on, it's Cody. But, this is a chance for Sammy to show off what he can do. Now, most people... Uh, I mean, the average Joe should kind of know who Cody is, or at least remember him as Stardust or whatever, but Sammy's going to be a relative unknown. He's like, who the hell is this guy, and why is Cody wasting time wrestling with this guy on TNT, whatever. So there's a chance for Cody to show up, well, not Cody, for Sammy to show off his skills, to be awesome, win the crowd over. I really hope that this time Cody doesn't, like, dominate the whole match that he did with Darby Allen. I hope that he really does like a good way of showcasing Sammy's skills and stuff like that before Cody takes the win. But yeah, Cody's going to win this one. We'll see what happens. Um, also, here we have MJF versus Brandon Cutler. And again, singles match. This will be MJF's first singles match. He's always been in like these multi, you know, six-man, triple threat match, elimination matches, whatever. But this is his first time actually having a singles match. And in my opinion, I want to give it to MJF. That is his chance to put up or shut up. He's an awesome heel. He's great on the mic. It just like comes so natural to him to be so smug and so full of himself and, and just talk down to people either either subtly or just, you know, all out trash talking and stuff like that. But um, what can I say? Like he has to win. He has to like pull some wins to really like put some weight behind his words. He can trash talk all he wants, but he has to win too, you know. He's a pretty big dude and everything. So I'm going to give it to him. MJF, show us that you're better than everyone and we know it because, yeah. So I'm going to give it to MJF. Let's see what happens. I can wait to see him in singles matches and see how good he is in the actual ring there because on the mic, damn, he's, he's dynamite there. So uh, then we have Hangman Page versus Pac. Singles match. I'm going to be speaking. This is like the match that never happened at Double or Nothing where Pac went to attack him at WrestlePro and all that. And um, this is a tough one. A real tough one here because Hangman Page lost against Jericho for the title. And I think that this is like his chance to start his uh, upward, I guess, climbing the ladder. You know, this is his chance to start scoring some wins, win people over. So when he gets a second shot of the title and, let's see, if he wins it, it'll feel much more earned, you know. And you'll have, like, more of a fan base behind him. It'll be more awesome and stuff like that. But um, Pac, Pac had an awesome win at All Out. And I really want him to keep that momentum going. Just go out there and destroy. Just destroy. He's such a beast for someone his size. He's like, you know, cruiserweight. But he still looks like such a fucking beast. Always so mean and scowling. Just out there to destroy and injure and maim and everything. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. I could go either way because they both got that momentum going. And, like, I don't want a loss to ruin their momentum. And the thing is, in the past, Pac couldn't lose matches because he had that whole deal with Dragon Gate. But that's already over now. So, oh, God. But that's a match that could really go either way. Um... 
I want to just go by my own personal like favoritism or whatever. I hope Pop wins. I hope Pop wins it. Um, I know Hangman Page has his own reasons, his own story he has to kind of go through, but Pop has a story too, man. He, he started off strong, keep the momentum going, destroy things, you know, head towards the title as well and everything. So I'm going to give it to Pac. I hope he wins and see what happens. Now, another thing is that um, Hangman Page matches are pretty slow. I've been seeing. I hope that it's not that slow this time. I hope that Pac kicks some ass and it's... Uh, it's not like too slow of a match. I really want, just want to be a good one. I want to see Pac fucking destroy him and, and do shit. And nothing personal against Hangman Page, but Pac is awesome, dude. Okay, so, um, yeah, so Pac for that one. Then we have um, Riho versus Nyla Rose. Whoever's the winner will be the first ever AEW Women's World Championship, um, you know, world champion. And, um, hmm. I'm going to say Riho, but it's going to be a hell of a fight. And I also think that for people that may not be sold on Riho, like this will be the match to sell people on her because she's going to, I mean, Nyla Rose is going to fucking wreck her shit, okay? There's no way around it. There was a match between her and Hikaru Shida and Nyla Rose, but we had that extra factor of Hikaru Shida being there too. But this is like one-on-one -on -one now. This is the women's version of uh, David and Goliath. And um, I think Rio's going to win. It'll be a way, like, she'll fight her way to the top. We'll see how long she can last, how much damage she can take. We'll see how much she really wants it. Like, how far is she willing to go to win that title? You know, like, that could be awesome. That could be good if it's played right, you know. But, um, yeah, um, I would not be so surprised if Nyla Rose actually demolishes her because holy shit size difference power difference just i mean wow and rio's like so tiny like amongst all the other people that are there you know the women division have has a lot of short people and stuff like out of so many people real so damn tiny i think the only one that's tinier than hers maybe yuka sakazaki maybe i, I don't know but um yeah It'll be an uphill battle, but I think Rio's going to win. We'll see what happens. And uh, then we have uh, the announcement that John Moxley will be there. There's no match announced. He'll just, you know, be there. I have an idea about that. Uh, we got the six-man tag, and this part was kind of stupid. Not the idea, but just, you know. Uh, it's supposed to be Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks against Chris Jericho and his mysterious partners that are no longer mysterious because now they had this... This one hour preview special today, I, I didn't know. I, I found out about it at work. I didn't know there was a special today. I'm assuming it's like, I don't know, I guess footage of previous pay-per-views, a couple of interviews, stuff like that. You know, stuff to get people curious about this wrestling show is going to premiere tomorrow on TNT. But um, my understanding is near the end of the show, they revealed that Jericho's partners were LAX or whatever they're going to be called now on this promotion. But uh, I think that was stupid. That was so stupid. They could have waited. Uh, when I first heard about the special, I was thinking, oh, man, please don't spoil who the people are. But that was my big thing. I was so fucking curious who these people are going to be. And we were having so many theories. It could have been, it could have been like um, LAX or it could have been some new guys. Um, Chuck Rodriguez thought it could have been the new Heart Foundation, possibly. Or, you know, something like that. I was thinking it, it couldn't be the Lucha Bros because they, they already did that. And it would have been so redundant and it would have been grown worthy. But, yeah, it was LAX. In my opinion, short of having, like, actual new people, LAX made sense. They did attack the Young Bucks at the uh, previous All Out event. And this is their chance to come to the ring and reintroduce themselves to people that don't watch Impact Wrestling. Because they're, you know, they're big on Impact Wrestling. And, um, yeah, it kind of makes sense. They're kind of like heels. Jericho's the ultimate heel. Now, as for who's going to win, I think that um, Jericho's going to win with LAX. So this is their chance for LAX to not just uh, show what they can do, kick some ass, you know, get a win over the Young Bucks, piss them off, maybe start like a new rivalry there. And also, of course, Chris Jericho is the champ. So this is his chance to show up why he's the champ, what he can do, you know, why he's worthy of the belt. Of course, um, one of the main reasons that Jericho won the title is because, you know, um, the name brand. He's known. People know who Jericho is. 
the casual fan that only knows about WWE can tune in. And, Ooh, Jericho's there. I'll, I'll check that out and stuff like that. So this is like Jericho's chance to validate the title and hopefully not lose it again with a little bit of the bubble and whatever. But um, another thing also is that since Moxley is in the building, I guess, he might just attack. He might go after Kenny Omega and cost him the match. I would not be surprised if Moxley attacks Kenny Omega at some moment where he might possibly be winning the match or whatever. And then Kenny Omega is either down or he does get rid of Moxley. But as he gets up or something, let's say he does the, the what do you call it, the one wing angel on Moxley or whatever. Turns around, bam, double dragon spinning elbow of doom. And Jericho wins the match. I would not be surprised if they did something like that. But um, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But in my opinion, it was still stupid to, like, reveal the people now. They couldn't wait for tomorrow. That could have been, like, a big thing. Like, oh, the mystery partners. Who are the mystery partners? Well, watch tomorrow on TNT to find out. Like, they, could have, they could have really done that. And in my opinion, it was very stupid to, like, just jump the gun and do that, you know. Of course, you can't rule out any other surprise or any other thing. But that was dumb. So anyways, guys, those are my thoughts, those are my predictions, we'll see what happens. Tomorrow I'll probably real quickly go over my choices and who actually won. But I do plan to make an episode shortly after the show ends, so don't miss it. Tomorrow, AEW on TNT, or I guess by the time you're watching this video, um, later today, because it's probably past midnight in your area. So, um, yeah, later today, AEW, TNT, the time is now, don't miss it. It'll be awesome. I promise you it'll be awesome. I hope it is, but I'm pretty sure it is. Because I've loved what I've seen so far. But a lot of people are going to be watching it with a more critical lens or whatever. Or, I don't know, you know, biased. I'm probably biased or something. So, people watching with an unbiased point of view may not agree. But I still say, check it out. It'll be worth it. Get your opinion. Check it out. Let's see what happens. Ignore everyone else. Just see it for yourself. See what you think of all the wrestling. And get some awesome Merchant Hot Topic. See you next time, guys.